Yeah, it doesn't change the ideological makeup, but we know that what Joe Biden does best is placate to the radical element and the radical progressive base of his party that he believes is the majority. I believe he's incorrect in that. I believe that they're actually the minority. With news of Justice Stephen Breyer stepping down from the Supreme Court, Fox News commentator Tommy Lahren just had to throw a tantrum over the thought of Joe Biden nominating a black woman to SCOTUS. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. Tommy Lahren went low-key Karen on Fox's Outnumbered earlier today with a thought that Biden would fulfill his promise of elevating a black woman to the U.S. Supreme Court. Let's break down Tommy's racist rhetoric. But I'm wondering the kind of justice that he would nominate. Now, again, I'm sure it will be, as Guy said, a black woman. You know, he's got a dedication to that. We saw how well that worked out with Kamala Harris. Basically, Tommy's saying that because she doesn't think Kamala Harris is doing a good job at VP, Biden would be foolish to select a black woman to go to SCOTUS. Said another way, black women should not be in leadership positions. That's largely based on this monolithic rhetoric that often shows up when people from marginalized groups are in spaces that they're historically absent from. If they fail in those spaces, the dominant group essentially claims that, oh, that's why they shouldn't be in this position. It's really this thought that one represents the entire group, despite everybody being individual with individual skill sets. Well, that's essentially dehumanizing, which is one of the key features of racism and sexism. But go off, Tommy. But here's to hoping that he has a better choice in mind for this position. But I would just hope that he would choose somebody that is not only qualified, but maybe somebody that's not so far on the radical left. What Tommy's doing here, we often hear from low-key racists. These are the folks who question qualifications when it comes to hiring black people. Really, because how often do you hear people bring up things like, I hope they're qualified when it comes to hiring white men versus when it concerns hiring someone from a marginalized group? Let's be real here. Questioning qualifications basically asserts that the person being selected is selected because of their race. And that's detrimental. Why? Well, because it undermines the individual's accomplishments and achievements. It's essentially a way of holding the person back or diminishing their contributions when they get into that position. Simply because you seek to have more representation in a, in a role does not in any way suggest that those placed in the role shouldn't be there or not qualified, so don't bring it up. The reason that there must be a concerted effort to have greater representation of marginalized people in positions of power it's because white male supremacy has historically kept us out. It's not that we're not qualified. So you can really keep your qualifications commentary to yourself, Tommy. I think the American people are making it pretty clear that the wokeism that's going on right now in the Democrat Party is not for them. Tommy had to get in that reference to wokeness, right? It's essentially just a racist dog whistle. When marginalized people are elevated and there's an opportunity to right a historical wrong, what we hear is essentially dog whistles just like this. It's a way of undermining the legitimacy of making efforts to uplift silence voices. Wokeism really speaks to the notion that Biden is simply pandering to identity politics as opposed to putting an individual on the court who would just be a legal mind representing a voice that reflects many of we the people. You know, Tommy and her low-key racist and sexist rhetoric is nothing short of shenanigans. She really should simply just say she doesn't like black women and go about her business because we don't have time for this. There are too many black women out here, such as New York Attorney General Letitia James and Atlanta DA Fannie Willis, leveling the playing field by holding corrupt men accountable. So Tommy can really just sit down and preferably shut up. In the meantime, put your comments below, hit the like or follow button, and thanks for watching.